New at 10 tonight, dozens of Beaumont parents voice concerns about cell phones inside their kids' classrooms. They attended a Beaumont ISD community meeting at Westbrook High School. BISD tells 12 News it's looking into the possibility of adding yonder pouches to their current cell phone policy. Uh, 12 News reporter Ebony Colvin has been following this for some time. And Ebony, the district says it's trying to increase engagement and get rid of some of the distractions. That's right, Jordan. District leaders tell me right now the policy states that students caught with the phone can either turn it in and pay a $15 fine or be suspended or sent to an alternative classroom if they refuse. Already this semester, BISC says 206 students have been disciplined for refusing to turn in their cell phones. Some of them are young, as young as fourth grade. 206. 78 students turn their phones in and pay fines. Now they are researching how yonder pouches can eliminate all of that. The pouches would cost the district about $150,000. Each student would have their own to keep all day, and the pouches waved across a magnet to close in the morning and open at the end of the day. Students won't have time to, you know, text each other that, hey, something's happening here, or something's happening there. We know that social media influences our young people and it can influence in a negative or a positive way. And we're just trying to control the environment and make it educationally sound. 12 News also spoke to one parent who says, well, he thinks yonder pouches are a good idea. He's still on the fence. My son's a senior here at Westbrook and I think that we need to uh, have these type of meetings. I just feel like right now we we, we, we need to kind of focus on some other things, but the yonder pouches are not a bad idea. I just think that we need to maybe look into it a little bit more. Officials say studies from the yonder company have shown increases in engagement and academic performance in 900 schools across the country. Now, during tonight's meeting, the district also discussed a new tax rate to increase BISD salaries. It'll be on the November ballot. BISD has two more of these community meetings planned. We have details posted on our 12newsnow.com. In studio, Ebony Coleman, 12 News.